Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf at the gorgeous Royal Quebec Golf Club for Golf WRX. And um, today we're talking about Matt Wolf's backswing. And man, do, I ha do we have an awesome show for you today. So uh, first and foremost, there was a, a really cool, I'm going to put a link at the bottom as a cool 16-minute um, video of somebody who recorded Matt Wolf's full range, uh, range session from behind, from the wedge to the driver, and I thought that was pretty good. And uh, sometimes uh, it was it was down the line, not from the front, and you could see how he's he's using this uh, alignment rod to keep everything in place and to keep his perception matched up with the target. So that I'd recommend for you to do on a regular basis. Now. If we look at his very wide takeaway, so you notice how he takes it way outside and his arms are very, very stretched out away from his body. And then on the way down, you see a big a flattening of that plane. So at the top of the swing, and then he's turning, notice how it's way across the line. And then there's a flattening of the plane as he comes down. So you'll see it wide over here on this side. And then you'll see it narrow coming down. And you see this gorgeous big lag on the way down. Well, that's very much like a football player. So if I'm throwing a football, you'll notice I'm not going to put a head cover underneath my armpit and try to keep my arm to my side. I'm going to go extremely wide. So you notice football quarterbacks are very wide back here. And that's what gives you the ability to go elbow first on the way through. It's part of our kinetic chain. So when I'm throwing a football, you can see how from back there it was very wide. And then the elbow went first as my, my kinetic chain engaged. Same thing for that baseball pitcher. So if I'm throwing a baseball at my football now, so my backswing is going to be very wide. So from the back, you can see that that elbow is very much away from my body. So that's across the line at the top. And then as my kinetic chain engages, everything gets pulled out in front. And then you've got a very different picture coming down. That's how we're built. That's how we survive millions of years throwing a bunch of stuff at our food. So wide to narrow. You see how that, that throw worked out. So if I do the same thing with a 7-iron, and that's why we go wide on the backswing. We keep everything away from us. We're not trying to keep everything connected. The, arm, the, the human body is plenty well connected. Thank you very much. If I'm doing a fast ball and I'm throwing a fast ball, it's going to be like this. I'm not going to connect my armpit and throw a ball like T-Rex. Same thing here. So Matt Wolf is the anti-T-Rex. So is Wisdom Golf, by the way. So I gather wide and then as I engage the kinetic chain, everything comes back very narrow on the downswing as everything lags through. So I'm going from wide to narrow. I'm going to get my target here. If you don't have a target, it's very easy to default at the ball. So we're going wide and we're throwing the club to the right of my building over there. Nice wide throw out there. So that looked a lot better. So another great analogy. We talked about the lasso. So if I'm throwing a lasso, you're a cowboy sitting on your horse. And, you know, Matt Wolf looked like a pretty good cowboy, right? With that beard and a cowboy hat. So the, the calf comes out of the cage and off the cowboy goes. He's got that lasso flying over his head. It's pre-shaped so that he can throw that lasso with accuracy. So what basically this wide backswing is, it's deploying the lasso so we can throw it with a lot of accuracy in the direction that we want the ball to go. So when we're doing this, uh, we call it perpetual motion, if I'm cutting grass back and through, and this is, there's my 
grass cutting tool to show you guys. I've got my grass cutting tool and I'm cutting grass on the way back, cutting grass on the way through. So as I allow that to happen in both directions, you notice how wide, the widest point of the swing in each direction is out here. Wide in the backswing, wide in the finish. So if I do the same thing, that's essentially giving me that, that width. Cut wide, cut wide, cut wide, cut wide. So notice there's a nice brush that comes all the way to here in the backswing, and there's a nice brush that comes all the way to here in the follow through. So we brush it wide, brush it wide. We got that lovely extension going out towards the target. So that extra width uh, coming back just makes it way easier to release out into the picture, okay? So now, uh, the last one we talked about uh, that lion tamer, right? So if I'm, and also the fly fisher. So when I'm going fly fishing, you got that nice heavy uh, line. You got to send it back and deploy it so you can send it out there and be accurate with the way you're deploying it. So if, uh, if that cowboy has a, 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 a dangling lasso, it's very difficult to throw that lasso with any kind of accuracy. But when it's really pre-deployed, it's very, very easy to deliver it with some accuracy. So we're doing the same thing here. That line tamer is gonna deploy that, that whip so he can deliver the whip out there. The fisherman's gotta deploy the line back so he can deliver that line out there. So that's where you're gonna get that accuracy. So in order for you to practice that, Use a little bit of momentum from your follow through. That's why you'll see Matt Wolf start and give himself some momentum to move into that backswing with so he can deploy that backswing and get some width. And by the way, without the turn, there is no width. The only way he's able to achieve width in the backswing is because of the turn. So go straight to boxing. If I want to snap a punch in that direction, I don't turn my body. I just get a peck full of bicep. Notice what happens? The brain's got to go get the ground, use the ground to get the body out of the way so I have access. So if I punch this way, I got no width. Turn. See now how I have extra width back here. So if this doesn't move and you're trying to coil upper body against lower body, lower body prevents the pelvis from turning. Well, the pelvis and the rib cage are connected through the spine and they have facet joints. You'll see that in many of my videos. I'll show you a picture of a human spine and that, that spine has to turn together. So the pelvis and rib cage have to turn together to get out of the way of the swinging arm. So essentially, if I'm playing softball and I want to toss a ball towards you, Notice how my body has to be out of the way for the ball to come your way? Well, it's the same thing in the backswing. Notice how I have to be out of the way for the ball to come your way. So basically, a golf swing is one that way and one that way. Don't let the arm hit you. Don't let the arm hit you. So you'll see uh, an oldie but goodie video entitled Arms and Body Timing. So we out of the way out of the way. Now we've got width, we have an engaged kinetic chain, and we have a slinging action, a nice swat in the direction that we want that ball to go. So I'm going to plan out the flight plan, right of building back to building. I'm lined up on my building, and I'm going to throw the energy of my swing to the right side of that building, which is right here to the right of that intermediate point. So I'm gathering and throwing. Really solid contact. Ball went off a little bit more to the left than what I wanted and a little too much curvature. So I'm going to do that again. 
together. Oh man, that was it right there. That's, that's lovely to experience. It felt extremely easy to deliver in that direction. And it felt extremely easy on my body to gather all that width and all that turn without all that needless strain and tension, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you understood what's behind that slinging action of his. And then the next video, we're gonna be talking about the transition from the top of the backswing into the downswing so that you really feel and understand what it means to engage that kinetic sequence. All the best, see you soon.